hear how after Jesus multiplied a few loaves of bread and fish for thousands of people, he and the disciples got into a boat to go to the other side of the sea, Galilee. Uh, yet he noticed that the disciples apparently were concerned because they only brought one loaf of bread with them. Not enough, they thought, to go around. They worried about this. And Jesus had to remind them just what happened recently. Don't you remember? How many loaves and how many fish did I multiply for so many people? How much was left over? Basically, he's saying, you know, how forgetful you guys are. They thought and were worried that they didn't have enough to eat. They forgot that with Jesus, they would always have enough. And sometimes we're like those forgetful disciples, aren't we? We often think we don't have enough really to live a meaningful life, perhaps. And we forget that God provides all that we need and more to live in a meaningful way. Or we can sometimes feel like we just don't have enough of what it takes to be a good disciple, a good Christian, or a good Catholic. But we forget that Christ can use what little we do have and multiply it many times over. For instance, you may not have a degree in social work, you may not be a psychologist, but the fact is you might be a good listener and you can provide people with a lot of comfort and support just by your ability to listen. You may not have enough money to build a hospital for the sick, but you might have a car which you can use to take a sick person to his or her appointments, physician's appointments. So the fact is, Jesus is always telling us, you do have enough, don't worry. We have enough of what it takes to build the kingdom of God. We have enough to make a difference in the lives of people. As long as we turn over what we have to Him, so that he can multiply it in an amazing way, in a big way. Think about it this way. Every morning, we come here to receive a little wafer of bread and perhaps a sip of wine. That may not seem like a whole lot to sustain us, but filled with the presence of Christ, that wafer and that wine becomes food for the soul that can assist us all the way to God's kingdom. Let's be grateful for whatever little we do have. And remember that Jesus is in the business of making little things very big.